Hey YouTube, this is a dock. Now this isn't your normal everyday dock. Now just to prove something to you, I am using Vista. Windows Vista Home Premium Service Pack 1. And yes, this is a dock. And you're probably wondering, oh my god, that's some really nice, you know, hover over effects, like the text. Looks a lot like the Mac and stuff. Now, this is a really, really advanced dock. It reminds me so much of, um, so much of the Linux dock, uh, win Advanced Windows Manager. I always thought it was Advanced Windows Manager, but, um, apparently not. Or it's Advanced Windows Navigator. Whatever. Anyways, I used to use that dock a lot, and I, I, and I, um, got a way to run Mac in a virtual machine. And when I tried out the Mac dock, I customized it to the point, and I made, uh, I just messed with it a lot, and I was really, you know, pleased with it. But the only kind of docks you get for Windows are Rocket Dock, Object Dock, and, um, uh, what's the other one? I don't know, there's a bunch of other ones that I can't even remember the names, but if you're, um, if you use one of those docks, and if you want to switch over from a more, uh, to a more advanced dock, then this dock is for you. It's really, really nice, and I'll just show you. I'm going to show you two things before I actually get and go into the preferences and stuff. Now, it's a free download. The download is only four meg uh, three megabytes. It was four before. I guess it wanted to scale itself down, but whatever. It's four megabytes. It has sounds. For example, if I were to go to my control panel, as you can see, uh, as you can hear, it, it made a sound. I don't know if you can hear it, but yeah, it made a sound. <laughs> And depending on the skin that you get with the um, with the X Windows dock application, it will change the icons as well. So, yeah, be aware about that. You can uh, you can change the icons if you want. You can actually take off that uh, that option to um, you know change the icons the icons to look with the skin that you get. But I'm gonna add something. You get a nice little pop-up thing as you um, as you see in this dock. It looks really really nice. It's 3D too bunch of 3D effects. Now if I were to add the X hard drive, it would show you a bunch of stuff about the hard drive, your main hard drive. So this is drive C. I got 89 gigabytes free of four, 149 gigabytes. And as you can see, it gives you a little thing right here. So, I, so I'm using 40% of it, which is really, really cool. If I were to click on it, it'll go straight into my hard drive, which is awesome. Now you could delete it from the dock easily. I don't think you could just drag and drop it off. You actually have to right click and delete it. So now here I'm gonna show you a few things that I really thought were cool. Now I'm gonna add a stack from folder folder or docklet or whatever. And I'm gonna go down to um, pictures. Go to Aaron. As you can see it turned into like a 3D looking dock and it has a bunch of stuff in the background now and the um, preview image in the front. Now if I were to click on this, it'll open up really really nice and really smoothly as well. And as you can see it's got kind of a 3D feel to it. Really smooth, really nice. Doesn't take up any resources at all. It uses um, up to about 16 megabytes of RAM of your RAM. No, 16K of RAM. Not 16 megabytes, but you know what I'm trying to say. And um, yeah, it's doesn't take up any resources at all. It's it's a free download. Doesn't cost anything, and it just looks really nice. And if you were to open something, if I were to open the folder, it'll open it really nicely, and it'll go back to the way it was really nicely. And it's really cool. Now I'm gonna add another folder just to just to show you how cool it is. And I'm gonna add a gallery folder. And I'm, and, I'm, and I'm gonna go back to Aaron's folder if I try to find that again. There you are. Hit OK. And add a folder. And you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, this won't do anything. This would be just some stupid folder that'll open up, you know, the entire folder. Well, if I were to click on this, it'll actually open up a live preview. And you could do like sort of like a cover flow thing. Which is really, really nice. And this is what made it buggy for me. It'll freeze every time I do this sometimes. But it's not freezing right now, which is really good, and it just looks really, really nice. You don't 
it, it just looks really nice. I can't really explain it. But if you click away, it'll go away. Open it again, click away, it'll go away. It's really nice. Now let's go into the preferences. Now you get a bunch of things. Now if I were to minimize this, you actually get the genie effect. For those of you who know what the genie effect is, and for those of you who know uh, who um, have Mac OS X installed, and you know, this is what you get when you have the uh, genie effect enabled. You saw that? It looks really, really nice. I'm actually going to minimize my windows to the dock just because of this effect now. It looks really nice. <laughs> Now you got a bunch of options, customize the way your icons look, and stuff like that, icon size, magnify, and you can also change the size of your icons just by left clicking and holding, you're just moving it up and then moving it down, which is really cool. Click away and it's set. Now you got a panel, now this is where you manage all your um, skins that you get for the dock. Now by default you get the default skin and the S glass V1 skin after you finish the installation. These are um, installed by default. I installed the leopard skin. As you can see, if I were to change the skin to the default one, the icons would change as well. So if I were to hit apply, the icons would change. But the same folders are still there, which is really, really cool. Now you could do a bunch of things. You could configure your stack docklets. You could configure the effects of it. So if you don't want a linear effect, you could have a fountain effect. So if I hit apply and go to the stacks, it'll as you can see it wasn't it wasn't transparent before but now it is. If I minimize this. If I try to minimize it. <laughs> uh, it has sort of a transparent transparent effect now. This is really cool. Go back to the settings. Change the gallery, the way everything's look everything looks. Capture windows. The MISC show running app, uh, show running indicators, excuse me. Adding files, when left click an item, run it. Sounds, now you could take off the sounds if you want, if you don't like the sounds, just untick them. Default sounds, file times, you could change the um, what this application associate with, associ associates with, if I said that right. <laughs> and this is the 5.4 version. Now be aware when you go to the um, when you go to the um, home page, it's it's not English, so I believe you could untranslate it all with a app or something. I haven't translated a web page before. If you scroll down, you'll see a download link. It's really really it's free and it's really cool. So yeah, you don't have to worry about paying for anything. And this was a quick overview of of X Windows Doc. I'll supply the links on how to get this in the description, and if you have any questions, any comments, then, or if you need any help with anything, you can email me or just send me a message, or just leave me a comment. And if you like my videos, please subscribe. Thanks.